Good day everyone, I am Ira Stephanie Orines and today I am going to perform a hand washing. Um, but before we start, you have to, we have to assemble all our, all the materials needed such as soap, water disposable, or sanitized towel. Next, we have to assess our hands. Um, the nail should be kept short, um, remove all the jewelries, and we have to check our hands for breaks of the skin like hangnails or cuts. Um, if um, we are washing our hands, um, where client can observe, we have to explain um, what are we going to do and uh, why it is necessary to the client. There are five types of faucet control. Hand-operated handles. Move elbow control with the elbow instead of the hands. Move knee levers with the knee to regulate the flow and temperature. Press foot pedals with the foot to regulate the flow and temperature. For infrared control, motion in front of the sensor causes water to start and stop flowing automatically. Now, let's turn on the water and adjust the flow. Be sure to adjust the flow. Wet the hands thoroughly by holding them under the running water and apply soap to the hands. Hold the hands lower than the elbow so that the water flows from arm to fingertips. If the soap is liquid, apply 2 to 4 ml or 1 teaspoon. If it is bar soap, granule or sheets, rub them firmly between the hands. Use firm, rubbing, circular movement to wash the palm back and wrist of each hand. the fingers and thumbs and move the hands back and forth. Continue this motion for at least 15 seconds. Now, let's rub the our fingertip against the palm of the opposite hand. Now, let's interlock our finger. Interlacing and interlocking can help our hands clean. Now, let's rinse our hands. Thoroughly dry the hands and arms. Dry hand and arms with towel. After you 
using the towel, you have to discard it in the appropriate container.